damn you! Greetings! Stop. I'll tell you what God has said. Say on. When you were little, in your own eyes, were you not made king of all Israel? I was. And all God asked was that you obey his commands. Instead, you're as rebellious as some heathen witch. You reject the Lord. Now, he'll reject you and your kingdom. Samuel, if I've sinned, it was to feed my army. All right. All right, I've sinned. But Samuel, help me. Please help me. Help me make this right with God. Together. Together, we'll make a burnt offering. God cares about burnt offerings. What does he care that his servant obey his word? You cannot bargain with the God of Israel. As your sword has made women childless, so shall your mother be childless. to have handled it so recklessly. You go too far. No, not far enough, I'm afraid. Today, you've lost the kingdom that God gave you. Uh, I'll go find someone better to give it to. You'll not see me again until the day you die. Oh, Samuel. Samuel, no! Samuel, no! No, 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 no! Samuel, this is a day to celebrate our victory against the Amalekites. God is displeased. You broke his commandment. You said God wanted the Amalekites slain. Slay them I did. But when the people wished the life of the Amalekite king spared, you listened. When the people wanted you to bring home the spoils of war, you listened then too. But Samuel, I'm king. I serve the people. I must listen to them. God is king of all. Yes, you're right. I made a foolish mistake. Help me atone. No, Saul. It's too late. You chose the word of the people over the word of God. But if I... if I pray... Because you turned your back on God, God now turns his back on you. No. He no longer wishes you to rule over Israel. No. No, Samuel. I beg you. Forgive me, O Lord in heaven. Samuel, help me! Please! Just as you've torn my robe, so shall God tear away your kingdom and give it to another. Samuel! Samuel! Welcome, wise Samuel. Welcome among us. You fought and you won your battles, but you don't listen to the Lord's voice. Why are you so attached to earthly spoils? But I defended my people and I obeyed the Lord, destroying the Amicalites. I, I allocated the choices of beasts to the Lord's altar to be offered as sacrifices. I don't think I did wrong behaving this way. Do you think Jehovah delights in this? Obedience is the best sacrifice and attention is worthier than the fat of rams. Because you rejected the word of the Lord, he rejected you as king. Ugh. The Lord rent the kingdom of Israel from you and he will give it to someone better oh, than you. No, no, why Samuel, no. The Lord cannot want this, no, no, no. And your tardy repentance won't be able to stop him. You had one task, one simple command from God. Destroy everything. We followed his commands. Then what is this bleating of goats in my ears? What is this lowing of cattle and wailing of lambs? Can the dead cry out? And who is this pagan king? He is to be put to death later. When the Lord says spare, you spare. When he says kill, Samuel! You are our prophet, but I am your king. What the Lord gives, you can take away. Are these God's words or yours? Your descendants could have ruled for over a thousand years. Today,
but I have done everything demanded of me by the Lord God. Not everything. The Lord God instructed you to pursue the enemy to destruction. Most holy prophet, we routed their army. We captured animals only for sacrifice. Obedience to the Lord God is more important than mere sacrifice. Instead, you have halted here, built a monument to yourself. I have sinned. The people wanted plunder. I shouldn't have listened to them. Forgive me. You have rejected the word of the Lord God. And now the Lord God rejects you. Today the Lord God has torn the kingdom of Israel out of your hands. He will pass it to another man, a better man than you. Another man? We shall not meet again. Not to your dying day. May the Lord bless you. I have carried out the Lord's command. What then is this bleating of the sheep in my ears and the lowing of the oxen which I hear? It's true that the army spared the best of the sheep and cattle, but they're going to sacrifice them to the Lord your God. We have destroyed everything else. The Lord has anointed you King of Israel, and the Lord sent you on a mission and told you Go and completely destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, until they are all dead. Why haven't you obeyed the Lord? But I did obey the Lord. I carried out the mission he gave me. I brought back King Agag, but I destroyed everyone else. Listen! Obedience is better than sacrifice, and submission is better than offering the fat of rams. <laughs> yes, it's true. I've disobeyed your instructions and the Lord's command. I was afraid of the people and did what they demanded. Now please forgive my sin and come back with me so that I may worship the Lord. I will not go back with you. Since you have rejected the Lord's command, he has rejected you as King of Israel. <laughs> Thus the Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today, and has given it to someone else, one who is better than you.